in PowerMill 2015 R2, some changes to the area clearance toolpath algorithms now make the toolpaths to be completely collision free. In previous versions, we had collision checking, however, this was against the model. So if I open up the strategy page, go to automatic verification, I can see that I am collision checking against the model. So I close that page, you can see that I have a safe toolpath. Simulating this from the start, we are not really going to see any issues with it. If I move the tool to a specific point on my toolpath, take a view from the side, we can see that it is well clear of the model and therefore we should not expect any collisions to take place. However, if I turn on my stock model, change the drawing to a shaded, and if I move my tool closer in towards the model, We can see that the holder is getting very close to the stock and in places it is actually colliding with it. So because of the nature of our roughing toolpath where we have very large step downs, the collision checking was not accounting for the remaining stock between Z levels of the toolpath. In 2015 R2, now the collision checking does take these into account. So if I just activate the toolpath, it's going to turn off the stock model and shade the older style toolpath, we can see that some sections have now been removed. So Paramil has now collision checked against the stock and it has removed the unsafe toolpath segments. So if I turn back on my stock model, if I go to the most inner portion of the toolpath, we can now see that the holder is no longer colliding with any parts of the stock. So if I open up the settings page and go to the automatic verification, essentially all of the changes are behind the scenes. The collision checking options stay the same, however it is now collision checking dynamically against the stock. This will give us a collision free toolpath for our roughing segments.